is the verse talk about? You know, it could have hmm. been like, why, why don't you buy them a Mercedes or, or a I mean, new camel? But reading a verse like this, that's yeah. a good point, Brother Joseph. Reading a verse like this, it does not, you don't even know what, he, what he's yeah. talking about. Right. Yeah. What do you mean? Why do you forbid what Allah made lawful to you? What do you make lawful? Allah made lawful, something lawful from Muhammad, and he forbid it for himself. Hmm. It's about Mary, which Brother Christian was talking about, the Egyptian slave. Muhammad went to visit uh, his wife, uh, Hafsa, daughter of Omar. And uh, somehow, I believe her daddy was sick, so she went to check on her daddy. In the middle of the night, she came back home. It just happened when she came home, she found Muhammad uh, making love to this lady in her bed under her roof, to in Mary. her house. So she came and she saw him in, in her bed, and she literally screamed. You know what scream is? That's what she did in Arabic, mm -hmm. yeah. which means what? Yeah, 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 yeah. My destruction has come. Yeah. And my end is in. On my house, in my house, on my bed, yeah. under my roof, oh, apostle of Allah, you have sex with women, with this woman in my roof? That's a slave. That's his right hand possessed. And Allah made it lawful for Muhammad to have sex with her. Right. And where yeah. we found in the Quran, Allah made it lawful for Muhammad to sleep with this woman. By the way, Muhammad told her in this part that, I will forbid her for myself. I will never touch her again. I will never have sex with her again. Well, guess what? He want to have more sex with her. <laughs> so Allah quickly <laughs> give Muhammad another verse in the Quran, which we're going to read, and then we're going to stop, Brother Joseph. I promise you. In <laughs> chapter 33 and verse 50, what yeah, did Allah say? Stop. Here, oh, listen you prophet, carefully. Surely we have made it lawful for you, your wives whom you have given their wages, and those that your right hand possesses, which Allah has granted you, and a believing woman, if she gives herself to the prophet, if the Prophet desires to have sex with her, this is a privilege for you, but not for any other believers. Indeed, we know what we ordain for them in their wives, and what their right hand possessed, that there may be no shame on your part, and Allah was forgiving, merciful. Allah, in the Quran, yeah. tell Muhammad, yeah. we have made it Amazing. lawful Amazing. for you yeah. to have sex with your wives, and one immigrate with you, Blah, blah, blah. And what, what your right hand possessed. And in the bottom. And what their right hand possessed. The believer. Right. Believers. My dear sister. Mm -hmm. You're asking the Mufti. Does the Quran teach have slave? Yes. Muhammad and early Muslim believers. And Muslim believers still today. They have the right. According to Allah's words in the Quran. To have slaves. But listen to this very important piece here in the middle. Mm -hmm. Muhammad have slaves. Believers have slaves. Allah made it lawful for Muhammad to have sex with his slave and made it lawful for believers to have slaves. Right. But there's a, a privilege for Muhammad specifically, alone. You know what he said? He said, and a believing woman, if she gives herself to the Prophet, if the Prophet desired to have sex with her, this is a privilege for you, not for any other believers. The difference now here between Muhammad and any other believers, they both have wives, they both have slaves, they both have concubines. But in the case of Muhammad, he can literally have sex with any woman. She offers herself to him. Any believing woman, not a sinful woman, believing woman, and it is sex, it is not marry. Because I know some other English translations, they say that if the prophet desired to marry her, yeah. excuse me, that's a lie. You know how do I know the lie? Because, first of all, in the Quran, the verse says, this is a privilege for you. In Islam, I study Sharia law, I study Islamic law, I know exactly what is marriage and divorce. Any believing woman, offer herself to any believing man, they can marry. There's no, but in this case, it's a privilege for you alone. It's not marriage. And notice in the end of the verse, he said, that there may be no shame in your part. Don't be ashamed of it, Muhammad. Have sex with any believing woman of herself. Notice now, verse 52, which is the last piece we're going to read here. 52, it's just to close my point here. Allah tell Muhammad is what? Here we go. Listen carefully. It is not lawful for you to take other women after that, nor to exchange your present wives for other women, though their beauty charms you, except what your right hand possesses. And Allah was watcher over all things. Muhammad, and, and by the way, you read, uh, I don't know if you saw the voice that said, you cannot have new wives, new women as wives, spouses. Wait a minute. So what do we have in verse 50? 3350 is one night stand mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the lady right. come to muhammad right. then we have the hadith yeah. the lady come to muhammad and he'll be sitting with his believers his followers um can i help you prophet uh can can i can i take care of you do you, are you looking for a date 
<laughs> That's in that yeah. language today. Yeah. Uh, do you want to have sex with me? That's what she said. Right. She's yeah. offering herself. Right. right. And Allah told Muhammad, any believing woman offer herself to you. you it's a privilege for, for you alone. You can sleep with him. Not any other believers. Other believers, they have their wives, they have their slaves, their right hand possessed. Right. But you, Muhammad, and the proof of my point, it's not marriage, it is one night stand because it's a privilege for Muhammad alone that there will not be shame. Why Muhammad will be ashamed to have another wife? He can have as, as many wives as he wants. He already got 13. Even yeah. the shara, the law said four. But, and, and the proof of my point in verse 52, chapter 33, Allah said, Muhammad, you cannot have new wives. That means all this woman we're talking about is the believers, it is sex. But what we have here is very important. Muhammad have slaves, mm -hmm. Muslim believers have slaves, and Allah in the Quran allows them to do so. I'm going to give it to you, Brother Joseph. Well, qu question. Sure. i got to ask you one question. Sure. Does this mean that if, what if it's a believing woman mm -hmm. and she asks Muhammad yeah. for sex? Allah allows him to have sex with a believing woman who's married in Islam? Any, and the Quran said, any believing woman. Wow. What does that mean, any believing woman? He did not say, single believing woman. Okay. Well, t tell, mm. tell Pastor Imri about his, uh, his uh, daughter-in-law. His daughter-in-law. Which yeah. one? What, what was it uh, Zaid, right? Right. Uh, oh, was it, yeah. Zaid. Uh, yeah. Here, that's a very sad. That's very yeah. sad. We cover this in our seminar, yeah. Women in Islam. Yeah. Uh, Z uh, Zainab bin Tijash. That's the one. Zainab yeah. bin Tijash, she was married to his son. And by that's this passage that, that you just mentioned. The, 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 even Yusuf Ali says this is the occasion. Occasion. Yeah, yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. uh, what happened is Muhammad went to visit with his daughter, uh, uh, who married daughter-in-law, who married to his son by adoption, Zaid. Right. The most noble thing exists in, in before Islam adoption, Muhammad canceled for his sexual uh, uh, fantasy. So he went to visit, he went to visit uh, uh, Zainab, and uh, Zaid, her husband, was not at home. And somehow she was running outside to, the prophet outside, she's running. She did not have enough clothes, she was not dressed. <laughs> somehow the wind <laughs> lift up her clothes. My goodness. Yeah. He saw from her mm -hmm. what caused him to lust after her. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, he saw her breast, he saw her legs, he saw something. Yes, and she was a beautiful woman. <laughs> Too much. She was yeah. a beautiful woman. And he said the statement, Subhana muqallib al qulub How great Allah who changed my heart towards thee. I no longer love you as a daughter, but I love you as a man, love a woman. She told this to her husband. Her husband, when he come home, he went to Muhammad. Prophet of Allah, I want to divorce my wife. Keep thy wife. Oh, no, 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 I want to divorce my wife. Keep thy wife. He was arguing. Allah told Muhammad in the Quran, why do you... For why do you hide in your heart what I'm about to reveal? You love her. You're lusting after her. You want her. Marry her. It's okay. So he, when Zayd divorced her, Muhammad have her and marry her. Muhammad married his own daughter-in-law, the wife of his adopted son. And Muslims said, wait a minute. Adoption is canceled. Excuse me? Adoption is canceled. Why Allah uh, cancel adoption? Because Muhammad love or fall in lust with his daughter-in-law? Is this a noble thing? <laughs> it's sin. But anyway, wow. she was not a slave. She became his wife. You wow. Know? Wow. So. And, and here's mm. how the passages uh, come down. Uh -huh. isn't, it, isn't it interesting how these passages conveniently come down whenever Muhammad, Muhammad has an inkling? Isn't Angel Jibreel <laughs> is waiting outside. What do you need about yeah. the follower? Give me a verse about this. Sure, here it is. Give me a verse about that. Sure, you can have it. You know, there is a hadith. And we got calls. We better get to him. But there's a hadith where Aisha, his favorite wife, what does she say? Something. Inna Allah yus, uh, inna Allah yus, Allah, 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 Russian, hurry to you with your desires. Whatever yeah. you want, your Allah will give it to you like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she says something to the thing of, you know, my, doesn't your Allah hasten, hasten. To, to answer your to answer requests? Your, 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 your <laughs> desires. Doesn't he remind you, Muhammad, doesn't he remind you of Joseph Smith? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. They're both There's like, a lot exactly. of parallels. They're both yeah. like uh, women uh, like sex and a lot right. of mercy. He had over 80 wives himself, L Joseph Smith. A lot of parallels. Yeah. Well, uh, anyhow, I, you know, we never did get to 4-3, by the way. But it's coming! Three. It is coming! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the callers and then we'll get coming. to 4-3. All right, welcome, dear caller. You're on the air with Jesus or Muhammad. Hello, you're on the air. Uh, am I? You're on the air. Go right ahead. Uh, uh, we can, go, go ahead. We can hear you. You're, you're you're cutting out. Please uh, try to try to speak uh, concisely because you're cutting out. There's a bad connection. Please continue. Uh, this is Eric 
haircut needs to know all of this because if the speaking common off of Hmong black people, I don't think any of them would be Muslims today. Oh, and also, um, in, in Middle Eastern countries like Saudi Arabia and Egypt, they are black people are still called slaves. They're yeah, yeah. referred to it. Even in Metro Detroit, which has a whole bunch of Arab Muslims and uh, Arabic-speaking Christians, unfortunately, they still commonly use the term Abid when talking about black people, and that comes straight out of Islamic history. Yeah. 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 And, there's, and there's a lot of Arab supremacy in, in, um, in Islam. So if they find out that, if, again, this stuff needs to be needs to be common knowledge in the in the African American community. Then I don't yeah. think the person would ever fall after Okay, dear caller, thank you so much for calling. I'm sorry your connection is not good. If you want to call back again, tell them you were on the line. We had to cut you off because we can't hear you. But what we got out of that was good. And Pastor Emery, here's a good point of time to take it to you, brother. Uh, you know, we've talked about this. We've hinted at it. Can you tell us a little bit about what you know about this, um, how the, the black American in the 20th century was duped, was conned into some, I mean, you, you mentioned it, but maybe you'd like to share a little bit more, fill in some of the gaps, maybe share some, some uh, personal anecdotes that you know of or, or individuals that you've heard their testimony of how the black American was, was duped. And, uh, and to really believing that Islam's where it's, where it's at. Well, it's, it's amazing with the wealth of information that Osama has just shared. Yeah. This is basically unknown. Now, now here's the thing that I believe, and I'm sure you might agree with mm -hmm. me. I think it's known yeah. by some of the scholars in the West. Yeah. But it is not politically correct. Just like what uh, yeah. he said on a program we had before. Yeah. That uh, Fox News. As, as, as conservative as they are, right? <laughs> they, they will never share. Never do they read. I told my wife what he said when I got home. He said he's right. Yeah. Never do we hear them analyzing yeah. Islam yeah. from the basis of they the Quran. They cover Islam with everything they can to make Islam look okay. Yeah. 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 And, and that becomes, and, and I'm telling you, you can have history classes, yeah. okay, from high school. Now, high school, they cover stuff up anyway. Yeah. But you think by the time you got to college and you got into a black studies class or an African-American history class, you get it. You don't. Even Roots. Remember that? Yeah, Alex yeah. Haley's Roots? Yeah, yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Big deal made about it in the West. You know? Oh, yeah. he's just fantastic. And uh, then that's when you had all these names. Start, people start calling their kids the names. You right, know? right. Like Kuta Kente and this and that. And there they followed the same tactic. The focus was on European slavery. Yeah. Not on Islamic slavery that, like he said, preceded it okay, for hundreds of years. Not, uh, not to mention the fact that uh, first of all, Africans had slaves. Yeah, okay? yeah. Then we have Islam having slaves, yeah. and it was uh, the Islam that taught the slavery to the Europeans. They learned about how to pack them on the boats and do everything, march thousands across the sub-Saharan desert, Absolutely. castrated them just like he talked Absolutely. about so they wouldn't bother the Arab women. We never see a movie about that. Yeah. All yeah. of your life, you never see it. Yeah. Then you read it. Because it's going to make Islam look bad. Yeah, yeah. It's not politically correct. But Brother, everything in America... If it have anything to do with Islam, you will never hear. We talk about how many illegal Mexicans in America? 16 million. How many illegal Muslims in America? Shh. We don't talk about that. <laughs> but we, don't, we don't have any illegal Muslim in America. Even though we have 57 Muslim countries send airplanes to America daily. And we know that Muslims come to America every day. And none of these people use the return ticket. Yeah. None of them. <laughs> but the other thing to remember is this, Osama. Also, the problem in the black community is if this information comes out, it's going to make white Americans uh, look uh, look better. Rel we don't want to make them look good. Make we need to keep yeah. them look we, the we, best. We, we have a tendency. African Americans have a tendency, and I'm 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 getting hate mail for this. You better believe it. Yeah, but, but, but you're telling the it's truth. It's true. It's the truth know? that we have a tendency to blame all racism on the Europeans yeah. okay. and on okay, let, me ask a question. let me ask a question, brother. I don't know too much about America. I've only been there from, here for 19 years. How many, how many black writers, black thinkers in America who wrote about give thanks or appreciate the hundreds of thousands of white men who died in civil war to freeze them? Rarely. 
Rarely do you hear anything about yeah. it. You're right. Yeah. You've got not only that, John Brown. Now, we, we hear his name yeah, in American, right. yeah. uh, American yeah. history. A, a, a white guy who rebelled yeah. against slavery, led an interracial army yeah. trying to stop it. Uh, George Boxley. And how many him. were killed yeah. for and just trying right. to stop it? To you rarely out. hear about it. Today, it's almost, it, it, we almost want to talk about the civil rights movement. But, uh, but uh, you named it. You said the same thing, and I think you commented on it. Yeah. The civil rights movement wasn't just a black movement in this country. Abraham uh, Lincoln. Whites and uh, blacks got together to dismantle racism. Yeah.